Kapow and welcome to the Tech Bar. Tomorrow is the launch of the new S21 Ultra and we have one here ready to unbox. Uh, I also have last year's S20 Ultra so we can compare them side by side. Let's dive right in. Okay, we don't need that. Sorry about the uh, nasty noise. Okay, so in the box we have a new S21 Ultra. Uh, I have a silicon cover with S Pen. So this is the first uh, S model that will actually support the S Pen. Uh, there is actually an updated uh, S Pen coming out later on this year that has the Bluetooth like the Note models. Um, but we'll work with the S models. Uh, we also have the new Smart Tag. So this is a new product that's coming out. Uh, well, it's come out now. So this is the basic model that does uh, Wi-Fi based tracking. And then there's a new version coming out, which will be super cool where you'll be able to find it in the actual individual room rather than just in the house. Uh, then we have the brand new uh, Galaxy Buds Pro. Now, super excited about these. Um, I have not the previous gen, but the one before. Really love them, great audio, uh, little baby subwoofer in there as well, really good. So I'm quite excited about these. We'll uh, unbox these and do a review in a separate video because I'll do a side by side. Okay, so let's get rid of those. Uh, nothing else in the box. Okay, so uh, let me just move this stuff over here just for a sec. Okay, so. Uh, first thing that strikes me is, let me just pull this, oh, satisfying. Nice. Okay, so the first thing that hits me is the matte black finish. Um, it's not quite so fingerprinty as I thought it would be. Um, I can still see that picking up some fingerprints, but I like it. Um, I always find it quite ironic that we spend so much money getting phones that look so good and then we put a case on them. But that's just, uh, that's just me. Uh, now what I'll do is, uh, side by side, we'll compare it with the S20 Ultra, so last year's model, and uh, we'll see how they compare. Uh, in the box, you will note there is no plug. So Samsung has followed Apple on this one, and rather, disappoint uh, rather disappointingly, really, uh, they've ditched the charge plug. Uh, so all we will get in here is a lead, uh, which I'm gonna assume is USB C to C. C to C. So for, for us here, this isn't a big problem. I mean, you know, we run a tech business, we, we have these, that's not a problem. For, I would say the majority of consumers, yes, they have got lots of charge plugs lying around, but they're USB A charge plugs, not USB C. So I do feel this is a bit short-sighted, and yes, Apple can get away with it, why shouldn't Samsung? But at the same time, I really wish that Samsung would stand their ground. I mean, we lost the headphone jack, that's fine. I mean, in this particular instance, given us the, uh, the Buds Pro, that's an upgrade. But at the same time, I really wish they would give us a uh, charger as well, just at the moment for maybe another year. Um, then, then you could kind of understand it. So let me just uh, bring out the other phone. Okay, so let's start with the back here. Uh, so instantly, uh, there's a couple of things you notice. Well, one, they've gone away from the glossy feel. You've got the matte finish now. And the second is the camera bump. So uh, with the S20 Ultra, everybody knew the camera bump was huge and it was a bit fugly, let's face it. And so they've actually now made it a stylized feature. So it almost looks like it's sort of folding around the phone. Um, I like that. I think that's definitely a step forward. I wish they'd done that on the S20 uh, Ultra. Um, the one thing I would say is, what we te all tend to do is we tend to put cases on, right? So we put a case on to protect our phone. Uh, now that makes the phone naturally thicker. And what they did with the S20 Ultra is most of the cases didn't cover over the camera bump. And so actually it made the back of the case uniformed all the way across. I actually liked that uh, my current case uh, is made by Dbrand and that worked really well. Now, um, the official case, the silicon one that's come uh, from Samsung, actually covers over the bump and kind of still keeps that raised profile. I don't like that. So this case is probably going to go on eBay um, and I'll get a decent one from Dbrand. Um, but it's just worth noting that. So now, 
Uh, the physical size itself, so let's look at the thickness, so more or less the same, more or less the same, no noticeable difference there. Um, technically on paper, the new S21 Ultra is slightly smaller. Um, now, that is mainly, uh, so the screen rather than being 6.9, it's 6.8 inch. Uh, that is mainly because, uh, you see on the old one, the screen wraps around the corner and now they're slowly moving away from that. So they're moving away from the edge concept. And that feels about right to me. I never, uh, even when I had the S7 Edge, for instance, uh, where they really pushed that edge feature, I never used it, I never liked it. In fact, most of the time it gets in the way. So it is quite interesting that they've done that. Uh, and I fully support it. Uh, still got the fingerprint reader or the thumbprint re reader, depending on how you hold your phone. Um, but this time it is actually 50% faster. Um, it's also a larger area as well. I think it's something like 15% larger area, so it should be more accurate. I've got to say, I've never had any issues with the S20 Ultra fingerprint reader, but people have had issues, so it's worth noting that. Now, the screen is a tiny bit smaller then, so 6.8 inches, but this is not a downgrade. Uh, the new dis display is literally the best on the market. It's uh, one, one and a half thousand nit, uh, 120 uh, hertz refresh rate. Um, now, don't get me wrong, the S20 Ultra still had that 120 refresh rate, but big difference, uh, you had to choose, it was a bit of a trade-off, you could either have uh, full HD and 120 frame, um, hertz, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting muddled up there, um, or you could then go QHD plus without the 120, and so it was a trade-off. Uh, the, the new phone does actually give you the, uh, the option of having both. Um, it is a ref it's a variable refresh rate, which is quite interesting. Um, so if you're doing something static like this, uh, it can go all the way down to 10 hertz display. And then obviously if you're watching a, uh, playing a game or you're watching a film or something like that, it can go all the way up. Uh, to 120, so that's a that's a nice feature. Uh, the benefits of that obviously is to save battery, and battery is a key point uh, for this phone because it's a big phone, right? And it's it's powerful. Uh, so the same 5,000 milliamp battery. Um, I don't think that's a problem. I've literally never had any issues with mine. Um, I'm a fairly heavy user, and it will last me all day. Um, the S21 Ultra does have the new five nanometer processors, so you can expect the batteries to last longer. Uh, it should be more efficient. Uh, same stereo AKG speakers, they probably optimized them, no doubt, um, but I couldn't really find much info on that. Uh, no headphone jack. Um, again, it's, it's not a massive issue these days. Uh, I will do a review on the audio at some point, um, but I, I want to sort of get a feel for the phone uh, and how well it works. Um, losing the headphone jack is not really a problem when you get the new Buds Pro included, because they will be far better audio. Um, but as I said, we'll review those separately. Okay, being in the UK, we don't get the new Snap Snapdragon processor. Uh, we get the uh, Exynos, I think it's called, uh, 2100 processor, um, which early benchmarks show are, it's actually better than the Snapdragon in multi-core, uh, about the same uh, in single core. And then when it comes to graphics, when it comes to, uh, in fact, the refresh rate at the moment, the variable refresh rate is just picking up on the camera, which is quite annoying. Um, but as I touch it, I'm sure it's only gonna kick into a higher refresh rate. Um, so uh, yeah, when it comes to GPU, when it comes to the uh, graphic intensive, like playing games, um, the Snapdragon that you get in America is better. So that is, that is interesting. Uh, let me just verify my identity on the old phone. Okay, uh, so with the huge battery, um, I don't think it's gonna be a problem, uh, but it is worth noting that the uh, Exynos processor option um, isn't quite so good on battery life. Uh, both models come with the same uh, 12 gigabyte of RAM. Uh, the 512 gigabyte storage model uh, does actually come with 16 gigabyte of RAM. Okay. I personally went for the cheaper 128 gigabyte of storage um, because I, I tend to transfer everything onto a NAS drive anyway. Um, so for me, that really wasn't a problem. Uh, so um, here is the display. So 120, that's refresh rate. Same multi gestures. Pretty snappy display. Um, better refresh rate than you're getting on the uh, camera, that's for sure. 
Uh, it's worth noting that the storage on the new S21 Ultra is faster storage, but a big loss from this model is the micro SD slot. So there is no longer expandable micro SD storage, which is a shame. I mean, that's something that Samsung stood out from Apple for for a long time. Um, I personally do feel it's a loss, but at the same time, I haven't taken my memory card out of my S20 Ultra since I got it. In fact, I think I've barely got any data on the SD. I think it's all on the phone itself. So that does sell you something, uh, but it was something that stood apart from, from Apple. And so, you yeah, know, it's, it's sad. Uh, the onboard storage is of course faster than the micro SD. So we can't moan too much about that. Now I cannot unbox this phone and not discuss the camera. So the S20 Ultra, um, with its 100 times zoom, which it normally said on here, but I've got a dbrand sticker, um, the 120, uh, 100 times zoom uh, was quite distinctive. It was a unique selling point at the time. They've kept that, so you still have that 100 times zoom. Uh, the cameras have changed a little bit. So the 100 times obviously is quite gimmicky. Most photography is sort of 10 times, maybe 30 times zoom uh, at tops. Um, there was some issues with uh, focusing, certainly close up photography on the S20 Ultra. So they've added a autofocus, a laser autofocus uh, to improve that. That is a huge improvement. Uh, you still have the same 40 megapixel selfie camera on the front. And uh, you've got the 12 megapixel ultra wide, you've got a 108 megapixel main camera, which is insane. Um, but there's now, uh, rather than the three time zoom or 10 times zoom, I forget which way around it was, uh, on the S20 Ultra, you now have both. So you have a three time zoom and a 10 times zoom. Um, they are lower resolution than the ones on the S20 though, which is interesting. And um, I wanna sort of check that out really. I wanna see how you get on with those. Um, I, I never really struggled with a camera on the S20 Ultra. It was the best camera I'd had on a phone. Uh, I can maybe just put some random pictures I'd taken in this, uh, in this video. Um, but I am excited to see what the 21 can do. Um, there is a new mode that I'm dying to try out called the Director's Mode. So that's one where we can essentially have two things in the video at the same. So we can use say the front camera and one of the back cameras at the same time during a video. So that's great for a virtual tour and we are planning on doing a little virtual tour of this office. So uh, watch out for that maybe next week. Okay, so the price, <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Uh, so the good news is that the S21 Ultra is actually 200 pounds cheaper than the S20 Ultra. So that's, that's a huge plus, I love it. However, there are a few uh, hiccups. So for some reason, Samsung don't pay attention to uh, currency conversion rates. And so in the UK, we pay more than you get it anywhere else pretty much. And so uh, for some reason, that's just a policy that pretty much all the phone manufacturers have stuck to. And so Samsung has kept that as well. So it is expensive to buy in the UK. Um, but it is 200 pounds cheaper than the S20. Uh, check out Samsung's website to see what the current price is um, rather than go and buy my video, which may be out of date when you see it. Um, now, bear that in mind, 200 pounds cheaper than the outgoing model and included, I've got a 220 pound set of headphones, really good headphones based on the previous model, um, which I've, I adore and use daily. Um, I can, I reckon these are going to be awesome. Uh, you then got these smart tags. Um, I'm not actually sure of the retail, um, they don't interest me too much, but you've got these smart tags. Uh, we'll see about those. Okay, so all in all, I think this is a good move. Um, I genuinely think this is a good move for Samsung. Um, I'm going to use this as my daily driver and report back probably in about a month's time just to say what the differences were, what the battery life's like. I'll show some videos and pictures that I've taken and we'll sort of see how we get on. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Great Scott, if my time calculations are correct, then you are just about to subscribe to our channel.